We have created this short video to help you in completing the finger poke for your child. We hope you find this video informative and easy to understand. Please watch the video in its entirety before you begin the finger poke to familiarize yourself with the supplies and the process. First, both of you should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water. We recommend finding a comfortable seating place for you and your child to sit with a table nearby to put the supplies on. You should have an absorbent pad, alcohol swabs, warm pack, gloves, lancet, blood collection tubes, gauze, cotton balls, and a band-aid. Please keep in mind that some children will bleed from the finger poke very quickly, so it may get a bit messy. We have included the absorbent pad and gauze to help keep the process as clean as possible. Activate the warm pack and place it on the fingertip. Hold the warm pack on the fingertip for one to two minutes. Once the fingertip is warm, open the alcohol swab and clean the fingertip. Uncap the tubes and place them close by. Pull the cap off the lancet and press the lancet against the outside of the fingertip like so. The lancet is pressure activated, so once you have pressed the poker against the finger hard enough, the lancet will be released for the poke. You will hear a click once it has been activated. Begin milking the fingertip like so and collecting the blood in the tube. If the finger doesn't seem to be bleeding enough, you can hang the hand down below the heart to let gravity help with the blood flow. You can use the gauze to clean up the finger if it is getting messy and to improve blood flow into the tube. We would like for the tube to be filled to the 400 microliter line at a minimum. However, filling the tube to the 600 microliter line is ideal. If there is enough blood to fill two tubes, this can be done as well. Please return the tube even if you are unable to fill it to the 400 microliter line. When you are done collecting the sample, clean the fingertip, then place the cotton ball and band-aid on the finger. You can throw all of the supplies from the finger poke in the regular trash. Finally, make sure the tubes are capped tightly and put the tubes of blood in the biohazard Ziploc we have provided. Roll the Ziploc bag and place it in the padded envelope. Place the padded envelope in the large FedEx envelope. Please complete the blood collection form and place it in the large FedEx envelope as well. You may take the sample to a FedEx drop box or contact FedEx to have them pick it up at your house using the Schedule of FedEx Pickup instruction form we have provided.